I think we should play this one. Uh, all right, it depends, guys. We can go for like try to play completely optimally and go for the, the win, or we could do this tunnel vision thematic stuff and try to get something interesting and still play the best of our ability, right? I mean, naturally, I'm a risky guy, right? So I take a lot of risks and I like to do things that seem interesting, and cool, which may not necessarily be the best thing. And I'm I'm okay with that because I think the results and the journey make it that much more worth it. I beat the heart. First win with Ironclad, that combo was nuts. Yeah, man, that combo was like nearly impossible to lose with. Congrats, man. Choose a rare list card, color this card to obtain. I mean, that's interesting. Or you just get the gold or color this card. I'm probably leaning towards gold here. And then going for two elites. That's probably the best thing. Let's do that. Let's see what the shop has to offer. Get some hallway fights. What's up, Red Silver? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, and that, and that deck, and Venom was doing a lot of damage. So much so that I needed to just like cut back on a lot of the damage that I had. I mean, I wonder if... Ooh, an early reinforced body. Yo, Bartolome, thanks for the follow. And Kaz666... 6600... 66,000? Nope, 6600, 6600. Hey, thank you for the follow, buddy. You can go for Barrage with the Dams since we're going for the Elites, but... Oh. first body is too good to pass it there. Xylus? Uh, Xylus? Thanks for Twitch Prime. Thank you for using that. Appreciate it, man. Right now I have a Combust, Inflame, Limit Break, Rupture deck. Nice. Sounds like a lot of stuff. Hopefully you can pilot that. You got Rupture and Limit Break and Inflame and all that stuff. Go for some small little Frost, just to take the Leap or Beam Cell. Uh, if I take Leap or Cool Headed, we're really defensive at the moment. So the shop has to give me some kind of front loaded. Beam Cell is the more offensive approach. Cool Headed right now, just for some Frost without any focus. I mean, Leap might just be the best pick. Especially where we take Beam Cell, maybe try to... Beam Cell is pretty good for the slime boss, if I upgrade it, get better bursts. I mean, it's hard to say, I don't really have good card choices right now. Ouch, okay. So the start is not the best at the moment. 10 HP for free, damn, damn, damn. Oh, Our Freon with the tier one, thank you, I appreciate it, man. Welcome to the jump pool. The Avengers is not good enough high attention. Yeah, you're right about that. You're absolutely right about that. And we and we knew this. Okay, Boosted Wiz is another good block card, but how much block are we gonna take? This is tragic. Absolutely tragic. It's not the fight you want to see on this floor. I reckon we get a lot of value out of Throne Pot here. This is a floor 5 and we're woefully unprepared. Not a very good start to run. This one, I need every damage I can take, so I'm gonna take Rebound or Compile. Oh, I'm not really liking that. I think Rebound, if I draw into Streamline. If I, if I buy Streamline here, then that could actually get me through. Got Mind Blast just to get some damage like that. Toolbox, remove, self repair. Fairy in the bottle. Go for an Elite with Fairy in the bottle. What's the redeeming quality of this deck? Throwing the bottle just seems to be 
not doing anything, I'd rather put something like Mind Blast in the deck. Start of each combat, choose one of three random colorless cards and add the chosen card to your hand. They allow you to choose the colorless card. So that could give us some more oomph. But I can't say that the colorless cards are guaranteed to give me the damage I need. It could be a Mind Blast or something else, or Apotheosis, which is very good. Or it could be something less impactful. An absolutely disgusting forward cloud traps blur back. Oh, fantastic. So I think maybe we could do the toolbox and this is just really risky. The mind blast is more guaranteed. The deck really doesn't have anything redeeming about it at the moment. Makes for a great underdog story. Yes. We could try to do a toolbox. Remove self repair. And this is, I haven't played the toolbox in a very long time, so this is kind of new and interesting. We're fresh, fresh ish. So I'm willing, I'm willing to lean into it. I'm willing to lean into it. I'm willing to lean into this here. I want to do the event first. Hopefully, it's not a car. Okay. Auto War helps. Sure. I was into two elites, but I decided against it. Dark Stone, I'll get rid of that. So, we got Transmutation Fantasy and Dark Shackles. Alright, we'll try this, see what this gives us. The bomb is fantastic for this, as well as Metamorphosis. Now, we just got Core Short Thunder Strike. I'll wait on this. That's kind of a cool little combo. But we want to wait for the bomb. I do think we want to do Zap Rebound here. But I did the fourth wrong. How close should we to lethal if we do it fast? Stunner Strike's a thing. We do rebound Thunder Strike again. Right, over. Those colorless cards are actually insane. I got hard carried by Toolbox. I got hard carried. Absolutely insane. I mean, I guess I should have maybe thought about doing the second elite. I just was a little scared. So now this wasn't that good of an act one because we didn't maximize the elites. But it's all good. Do we take Barrage for some more damage? Law or Steam Barrier. I want to have decent front loaded and some decent burst against the Slime Boss, and Barrage can help with that. Even though I'm just barely channeling orbs with Zap, so Barrage doesn't have. Like, it's not that good. I don't channel enough orbs. Nah, it was free because of Toolbox into Transmutation, into Metamorphosis. He found out two energy card with nothing good to upgrade. I died, salty. Well, the thing with Apotheosis, you should upgrade it first. And early on, if you just keep your deck smallish, the fact that it upgrades all your cards is actually quite good. I mean, Apotheosis gives you an insane amount of value. You just gotta upgrade it first, and you have less inclination to upgrade because Apotheosis does it for you. That sounds insane, Aaron. No claw is flaw. If three random skills into your draw, they cost zero this combat. Sadistic nature, patience. We got charge battery, charge battery, recycle. Interesting. Hmm. Did I 
just an idea. The deck's really lacking damage. It's ridiculous. I think go to campfire first. Leap, rebound, or scrape? Take a second leap. If we're letting Lenny Toolbox flesh out our deck. This deck, I guess the image is awful. I'm not a fan of a second rebound. I think scrape doesn't do that much for us. I'll maximize the value of this. We need to channel more orbs. Transmutation yet again. Blind for that. Well, we have this going for us. Take four damage for this, or do this. Okay. Hmm. Not really, not that helpful. Really, not that helpful. What's up, How you doing, buddy? Hmm. You know, much better if it works with powers. That'll be more than OP, huh? Fusion Meteor Strike stack. Meteor Strike is unplayable. Even with Art of War, it's still unplayable. There's a world in which we get Toolbox gives us Enlightenment, and then we play Meter Strike Enlightenment. And that's a world I do not want to partake in, I don't think. But I also want a world where I have damage to kill the slime boss and I don't just die here. God, this is so funky. Fort that has some kind of use in zero cost decks with Unceasing Top. It also sometimes can have a use in treating like a late gate, like a late fight retain. If you are scared of drawing something very important that you don't want to play right away, like a Reaper or a Piercing Alpha later. But no, Fort that tend generally pretty bad. It's just awkward. But with zero cost decks on decent top, the upgraded Fort that is quite good. I mean, Toolbox has a lot of tools to make Meter Strike better. It has enlightenment, it has madness, it has transportation to find those things as well. Um, for the most part, Meter Strike is a curse. I guess we have distilled the chaos to make Meter Strike playable. I'm gonna roll into, I'm gonna lean into the theme. The theme being madness. And the theme being absolutely terrible deck, but with it. Hmm. I think I'd save the chaos, the still chaos for the uh, boss here. So we'll just take seven to the face. Unfortunate. Hologram loop. Okay, so for the, in the event that we get managed again, like we just did or anything else, like toolbox that we're trying to go for. Hologram helps us enable the Meteor Strike shenanigans. And this is absolutely not the deck you want to be playing. But if that's what we have, some toolbox, tools, a Meteor Strike, Curse, a Hologram to help bring it together. You can drink the just at any point. You can drink it even when a potion gets dropped, so you can save it for events that have max HP, Deficits. I'm not inclined to drink it right away. Because now you can just drink it even if the potion drops. 
If you're playing around Madness, which is RNG, that's really stupid, but dual cast becomes free, the better Madness targets. There's also, if Mini Strike is something we really plan to play, we can get more burst out of it. Or if we want to get Hologram more than once. We could also rest. We can say, listen, this deck is not that great. I'm probably going to need to tank the first hit and maximize the split somehow. So maybe I just rest. Yeah, they changed that a while ago. You just got Nightmare and Impossible Six. How much more? Thing? That's insane. It feels bad upgrading a curse like Meter Strike when it's not guaranteed to be played. And I'm completely depending on RNG factors like Distill Chaos and Full Bucks. Unless I really trust myself and I believe in the heart of the cards, then I just upgrade Meter Strike anyways. I feel like I have to rest. Feels really bad. So we have Panache. If you play five cards to go turn, you deal 10 damage to all enemies, which, okay. It's possible, but Fourth Thought can make Meter Strike free. Fourth Thought can make Meter Strike free, because we're leaning in heavy into Distilled Chaos with Toolbox shenanigans. I don't think we ever get any Panache played. Consistently, we have there's still chaos to get Panache played. We also have like Zap turns with Art of War. So we have Zap Art of War, that's four cards plus Panache. The Zap zero cost five cards. But I think four thought for me to strike. Okay. So me strike is playable. If I can get Hologram on the same turns, I can fourth that again. I, I don't really have good turns here. I can try to save Art of War for what purpose? A bigger reinforced body so I take less damage. Mini Strike on its own is anyway a good split. Should two bucks allow you to choose a card after you have drawn your hand? So you think you should, it should let, let you see the hand first? Yeah, that's an interesting consideration. I think the fact that they let you choose is like pretty strong in its own right. So maybe by not letting you see your hand first, it's not it lowers its power level a little bit. Because before it used to be a random colorless, and they upgraded it to choose a card, which it's a significant step up. If you're asking if they should buff toolbox so you can see your hand first, it's a good question. I mean, it's only 166; it's a common relic, or it's a sharp relic rather. If you allow yourself to see your hand first, I wonder. It certainly becomes much better. So I have really nothing I can play here. I don't even know. If Art of War is worth it. I guess we can get more reinforced body, but no, not even get that. So I know, I know Distilled Cast is for sure not going to hit Meteor Strike, but it might hit reinforced body, right? And that's probably worth it. Okay. So if we rebound to the meter strike, we can actually play it the second time around. So let's do the math here. It's gonna be eight, 32, 31. I mean, I can go for the split now and then have meter strike playable next turn. I suppose that's fine. It's not the greatest, but we prevent more slimes and we have a lot of life to work with, so I think we do this. We have a lot of life to work with. There's also the world where you do forethought on Meter Strike again, but we definitely want to attack here, right? And if we attack all this energy for nothing. If we get 
right, uh, we have life to use the resource. The guys are splitting at 20. Six. Let's go for it. Got the, got the music. Honestly, it's not bad. Very decent split. This guy is fine. I could get more damage out of this. I suppose I should utilize the damage for it, but it's gonna apply negative effects. I think we just go for the 1v1. The 1v1 should be completely winnable. Although this sets him up for a pretty decent spit next time I drop Meteor Strike. I'm overthinking this, aren't I? And it's a waste of damage, of course. It sets him up for a decent split. I just don't like how this guy's gonna play. Some more slams, right? What's more slams versus 18 damage? My hand right now is a double strike. I'm killing the strike next turn. And then we just gotta draw into the slams. Nine damage, it splits him, which I guess is okay, it saves me life. And then I just try to draw into meter strike. But the thing is, we have a lot of slimes we're drawing into. If I split him, I'm potentially taking more damage if they both attack me. I could take this hit. I can certainly take this hit and just see what my draws are first. Seek. Alright, so this actually becomes kind of thematic in the sense that Toolbox, if it gives us Madness, or if it gives us Forethought, or if it gives us anything else that we're trying to do with Meter Strike, then Seek also becomes part of the combo. I, I, don't, I don't like the direction it's going. Fission upgraded is probably a decent consideration as well. Hyper Meat Sekouai. I mean, Hyper Beam is pretty decent because we don't care about our focus as much and we are just kind of doing big heavy hits. We have regular blocks that don't really care about focus, so things like Leap and Reinforce Body. So we can just get the AoE and just use basic attacks and dexterity based things. It's pretty good for elites, but I, I, I do like Seek more. I like the flexibility of it. This is, Hyper Beam is pretty decent here. We're, we're legit using no focus. I just don't like the ceiling of Hyper Beam because my decks generally tend to want to lean into focus or orbs for the heart down the line. I've never really had a deck that just focuses on no focus, no orb usage, and things like Hyper Beam, Meter Strike. It doesn't seem very late game potential. Look at this. So we gain Plasma. Transform all strikes and defense, or cursed key. Hmm. I, I have some interesting theme idea in mind right now, so I'm gonna roll with it. We're gonna make this a, a good one. Cheers to this. Here's to not fucking it up. So plasma is energy, and then is even a surplus of energy. And by the time that the energy is utilized. With Art of War, a lot of play Meter Strike, we're probably gonna have Meter Strike played and then you're gonna have no energy problems thereafter. That is until we decide to get rid of all our plasma with replacing with other orbs, but at the moment we're not channeling any new orbs, so plasma nuclear battery seems to be the best. Nah, this is just this is espresso. Okay, let's hit a shop. 
Let's see. Two elites, three elites, or more upgrades, two late elites. This is probably the better path. We get to do two upgrades, a shop, and some events before we do two late elites versus this right here, which is three elites, two of them with no recourse in the middle. If that deck feels strong enough, I can do the extra elite, but maybe I'll go for the extra upgrade, which allows us to upgrade, seek, hologram, meter strike, that kind of stuff. What's up, Smith, your boy? How you doing? I'll take the safer path, because I don't feel super confident. Master strategy, fourth thought. Fourth thought, again, we have seek for meter strike. We could try this out. See, guys, we are unironically using fourth thought in this deck. We have hologram to bring it back. So this is just an unerotic forethought use. So hologram to bring it back, seek to help find the targets for it. I mean, I can certainly say that I'm pleasantly pleased. Pleasantly surprised as well. And there we go. You know, forethought meter strike is a thing. This is YouTube worthy if I can balance this out. Certainly very interesting. I mean, aside from the damage I'm taking here, but... None of that focus, deep frag, frost. This is pure, unadulterated, forethought, meter strike shenanigans. So we need card draw, because look, look at all this energy that we're just not utilizing so just for this hmm good things are prepared exists okay so we have FTL now we need, we need some form of card draw. This is actually a pretty good uh, unceasing top deck. FTL Barrage Steam Bearer. I like the FTL here. I'm feeling unceasing top. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it really strong. Okay, there's Ginger's close enough. Apotheosis Core Search. Orange pellets. Okay, this is orange pellets defects. Now, this could be the complete pivot. At the moment, we don't have bias cognition, right? And we don't even have a lot of power. So, orange pellets isn't a bad buy. So, maybe I should slow back, slow down a little bit. We have Seek in the deck. So, we could do Seek Apotheosis. On average, we're playing Apotheosis quicker because of Seek. What's up, Wee Man? What are you doing? How you doing? There's. Potion belt, Matryoshka, pellets, core surge, duplication potion. I could remove and do apotheosis with seek, try to play around upgraded cards, and we still need to find a way to utilize the energy we're gonna be making. I guess cool headed pluses will be a good way to dr draw and play more cards. Is it better to just do something like Potion Belt or Pellets and hopefully the Pellets will save us for the Bias Cog down the line? Hmm. Nice, man. We're gonna do this. Interesting deck. So for three random skills. Snake oil because we. I guess self repair is fine here.
could do an apotheosis. I need cards more than anything. Because Mishrak is not doing enough for me. If I do a Seek Apotheosis, I get more block from this defend, and then also Self Repair becomes stronger. So we get more healing from Self Repair, but I don't I don't want to take five to the face. I could just kill him with Seek Hologram. But I want to get Self Repair played. So let's just play this. That's awkward. I want to get that prepared value. I'll also just kill him. Ah, uh, so next turn we do have. Bit of an awkward situation because we have this to self repair, but then our turn stops there. Yeah, we need Tempest and Multicast for, for sure. Also, like next one, we're not gonna kill him, and self repair is actually gonna be a negative thing. So, what I gotta do now? Should I just kill him now? Rebound FTR, how does that operate? It doesn't operate how you think it does, huh? Doesn't matter. Okay. We agreed with that, got the full heal. We have stack, scrape, and loop. Loop at the moment can give us more energy, which we're not utilizing. Double the lightning. We don't have any frost. And or the dark, which we get randomly from metamorphosis, which is not so much to play around. Stack. I mean. I'm pretty happy with the block that we have. Scrape. I'm not a big fan of. I guess Scrape can look for Seek and then Seek can play Apotheosis, but also we can discard Apotheosis. It's kind of a bad. I have to skip loop here. Doesn't really do anything for us. Yeah, sure, I want to loop later, but okay, we have Madness Fourth Eye. We can make Meter Strike free in many ways. Let's do Madness. It's quite nice. Free Meter Strike. My holograms are upgraded, so I guess I can upgrade a hologram for those purposes. Mm -hmm. Like, all for one would be interesting. I mean, right now. I should do snack with oil to save life here. Very unorthodox tech.
Like all this energy, we're gonna we're gonna find a way for it eventually. It's gonna come to fruition. The last thing we want is claw here. Now all for one would be good because we have madness things potentially. I mean, it's random, so I shouldn't put all for one naked, but I mean all for one does have some decent. We don't even have all for one, so I can't even think about these things. I think it's passed here. Uh, we have a lot of life, so we could go for the sparkle, but... I was leaning towards upgrading things like Apotheosis and Seek. I really want those upgrades. I think the deck operates really well with upgrades. But I suppose Relics also should increase the power of this deck. What Elite do we not want to see right now? I mean, I guess Slaver is doable. The deck is really just weak. I I'm not confident against any of these leads. I want to do it later. I want to upgrade Hollerim as well. It's gonna be one of those fights, huh? The bomb is pretty good here, so I I, I can't complain. The bomb is quite good. We just have to survive and profit. Drive next turn and profit. Well, that's pretty big. Huh. The problem with this is that... Uh, the problem with this is that it only gives me two energy back. We, our whole goal here is just to survive for bomb. So it's better to do path, uh, pathosis here, right? But I guess this does mitigate 12 damage. Dark Knight, how you doing? Welcome, buddy. Cooper, yes it is. What's up, man? How you doing? This does mitigate 12 damage if we get lucky. Apotheosis helps mitigate like an extra six damage, which I guess theoretically is worse. But if I pot this is So I guess I gotta hope that I get lucky and this this hits that. So I'm gonna get the most damage. Or right now we're only getting two three three we're not mitigating that much of Apotheosis. I think Mutrix is just better, has better odds. It's one and three to kill this guy, mitigate decent damage, and then just block the rest. Works out beautifully. Right, so we took some damage, but you know we have to stop repair and the fight's over. Well, not 100% over, we still need to do one thing, and that one thing is this. Okay, so never lucky, you know. Just okay. So we got cool headed loop or heat sinks. Well, we're again faced with loop, which at the moment this feels low impact for plasma, which we're not utilizing. Zap of zero focus. I guess we could take some cool cards while cool headed. So. Who, who edit is card draw? I think I'm gonna defend Apotheosis here, so we're gonna upgrade things like Seek and Hologram. Let's let Apotheosis hit the rest. Great, great. Oh, I didn't get to see the options there. That was my bad. Huge. Absolutely huge there. fun. I can play Meteor Strike here and block twice. Good 
Could have rebounded it, I suppose. So does hologram it now. This is a meteor strike deck. Wait, did we not play self repair? We did. Interesting. Deck's looking cool. Steamberry stack and claw. Steamberry plus, to be exact. Keep the deck. Ooh, hand of greed. Hand of greed is pretty good front loaded here. Hi. That is a meter strike that we can't play at the moment. Let me see something. Huh. Interesting. We can come back to that with. Tough. It's gonna be tough. I can get Art of War here, but I, Art of War is interesting because if I get Art of War, I can do dual casts, hologram meter strike. How useful was that? Not really useful. I can't really. This, they scale too much for me to try to get 60 gold off this. I have two hits here. I have dual cast and seek, which can give me meter strike stuff. Beautiful. Which is gonna be my front loaded. I guess I can do hand agreed technically. Should I do hand agreed instead? Get the gold. Technically, I can do hand agreed. But playing meter strike allows me not to have a shitty turn next turn. Meter strike allows me not to have a shitty turn next turn because of the energy. Ah, fortunate. That's what I gotta do. Could have rebounded it, of course, but I want to do this instead. What's up up here? I want to see if I can find Hand of Greed. Got it. Okay, so Doom Link gives us Dark, which just gives us some... Some kind of scaling damage there. And we get AoE. Now the problem is we're channeling a lot of orbs, aka plasma with meter strike, so I don't know how much I'm gonna let dark sit. I mean if for certain fights I guess I can dictate when I I, I can choose not to play meter strike. Like for the champ, dark scaling is pretty good. And I have apotheosis, so I can just block that dark scale profit. And AoE for slavers and stuff like that. I mean I think Well, we also just play like a lot of greedy. We're playing a greedy deck as it is. I mean, this is a damn toolbox meter strike run. So I'm taking the greed where I can, but I'm also, you know, doing toolbox meter strike. I'm trying to let it have some kind of longevity here. Well, I think the dark is just something that is necessary for the champ. Unless I try to combo out combo out something crazy for me to strike bursty turns of the champ. I don't see how my damage is going to come in a proactive way there. Yeah, mirror and Drake do not work well together, I agree. But at the same time, it can also help get the dark played sooner and it helps my burst. So if I'm meter strike single target something and I have a dark orb in the back, the meter strike is going to dictate where the dark orb goes and that could just add more damage. Plus the Doom Eclipse itself is upgraded AoE, so it's pretty good, right? So Maxism for this fight is probably better because we get more color cards each turn. Violence just immediately is quicker tempo because I don't have to waste the energy and I don't have to wait, I just get three attacks. And the guy only has 126 life. So if I get three attacks and draw into Apotheosis, then those attacks could just win the fight. Fuck it. Oh, we got it anyways. So what's the upgrade of Violence, guys? Is it better to do Apotheosis first or Violence Apotheosis? What is the upgrade of Violence? I forgot this is not this is not chrysalis or metamorphosis this is brings my attacks that was my bad i misread that i misread that fair enough 
If they put Meteor Strike in the right now and discard it, Hologram can take care of it. Hologram cool headed shenanigans. Tool cast. Block. Hologram right now. I can rebound that, I cannot, unfortunately. I can rebound the Dark Orb, but cannot do that either. Did I have lethal? Uh, hmm. Take a hit here. I don't need to go for perfect. Um, I could take a hit here, right? And force lethal next turn. Rebound strike forces lethal. I'm probably gonna draw to lethal anyway, so I'm gonna do this. I feel confident I draw lethal. Helix. Ooh, okay, so now we got beam saw plus. Very good vulnerable, right, for the Meteor Strike stuff that we're doing. Then there's Compile Driver, which is card draw with all the Plasma that we have. And we also have Dark Orb, and now we also have Frost Orb. So Compile can be up to three draw, maybe on average two draw, because of Lightning and Plasma plus Frost. I mean, I can see Compile being two to three draw pretty often, right? And then there's Fission, which gets rid of all my Plasma and gives me the card draw. Very good as well. I mean, these are all really decent. This gives me more damage, more bursts. Because right now, just mean strike alone, I don't feel that strong. The vulnerable would help. Vision, it is pretty good. That would have a crazy amount of excess energy. It also makes dark awkward. It's gonna make dark even more awkward, but we need to get some better card choices here. Mame at the start, play the top card of your draw pile. Mind Blast right now. Pretty good. I'll go for the Mind Blast. So if we upgrade right now with Apotheosis, Mind Blast is cheaper. And we can even do Rebound Mind Blast and just kill this fight. So we can even do Fission right now. Jesus Christ. We can also do Doom and Gloom. Oh my god, we have so many options. Holy crap. We have Doom and Gloom, Fission, Apotheosis. Sky's the limit at the moment. I'm gonna do rebounds. Mind Blaster. I mean, technically, I could do Fire Pot, but I, I don't necessarily see myself needing the to use that resource. We gotta keep in mind that our energy is gonna be awkward. So I'll do this actually. Our energy is going to be awkward because we only have three energy now without the last move. I guess we have charge battery played. Huh. Alright, not the worst. Let's figure this out. I can just prioritize damage because I'm going to take self repair. Beautiful. Full heal. Okay, now we got Charge Battery Plus, Beam Cell, and Sunder. Well. Huh, Beam Cell keeps coming up, and the Vulnerables keep coming up as an option. The the Dooming Gloom, Vision, like the Darks, I, I want to kind of sit and do something with the champ. The champ, I need to figure out how we're going to approach this fight. Sunder right now doesn't really do anything. At least not for the boss fight. Charge Battery Plus is just a decent block card. I could just take it. All right, and we're gonna upgrade things like hologram, so we hit that, hit that sooner. All right, we need to see what two blocks give us here. So we can do enlightenment, right? And enlightenment allows us, if we upgrade it, to have doom and gloom and meter strike free, or not free, one cost, and that could be what I use as my bursty turns for damage. Blind is the other consideration. If I have blinds, then he is 
weakened and I can mitigate his damage and hopefully keep my buffer alive and, you know, just lock pretty efficiently. But, you know, enlightenment is really thematic. So, enlightenment is already upgraded beautifully. So, we're just gonna sit and wait. Now, okay, we can do fission to. We have hologram. So, if we do fission, we can try to draw into Meter Strike now and use enlightenment. It's probably a good time to do fission. Try to find the cards. Okay, that's a little unfortunate. It's kind of a waste of energy at the moment. Got the beta strike, so we can play it. Or we can, because I don't want to have no energy, right? So I can play the beta strike, so I don't have no energy. Even though I don't have a card drop for it, or I can play Doom and Gloom and start stacking up the frost and just play. Not so sorry, play Doom and Gloom, get the dark going, and just block and hope for dark to win. Meter Strike gets rid of my Frost, but it keeps my energy thing going so that I can play Meter Strike again in the future and hopefully get this whole Enlightenment thing going. Well, we have Enlightenment to play Meter Strike in the future, so I'm gonna do this. I think we're gonna try to... I think we do this Dark, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and... Get this out of the deck. If we didn't... If I had Calibers, this would be fantastic. A lot of my good block there. So this might be a turn where I just have to utilize the buffer, unfortunately. Let me see. 13. We just barely have to use buffer. We're too off for buffer. That's unfortunate. But not the end of the world. We really gotta set up. Alright, so I think I wanna rebound hologram because I want. Well, it actually, doesn't do anything for us now. Never mind. Let's just put some damage into him. Could have hologram barrage there, I suppose. We're just gonna sit and wait. Besides Spencer the Champ where? It's a good question. This would be a perfect time to find enlightenment with Meter Strike. So we do have enlightenment meter strike coming up. It's quite nice. I want it undo them as well. We shouldn't let the dark sit. We really gotta do much much else. The meter strike's gonna be an awkward thing, if anything, but I'll take it. I could go for too dark. Or we could try honestly what we could try to do. If we try to do Doom and Gloom now, dual cast from the Dark Orb, get the damage out for double, because we're about to do Meter Strike and Lightning stuff, and we're going to change the way we're doing damage. The champ looks like a 34, 34 waist, for sure. He's got, he's, he's got a thick waist there, right? It's also weird because he has kind of big thighs, right? So he's going to have to upgrade the size to fit around the thighs and then have to wear a belt. Champions belt, the exact. Or, sh or she, to be fair. Well, I don't think 34 is thick, but I think it's thicker than 32. And... Okay. So, what do you guys think about just doing 60 now and change our profile to Meter Strike shenanigans coming up? Dual cash right there. We're going to be getting vulnerable right now, though. We have a lot of life to give up. If I had Meter Strike at 1, am I, am I even play it? It seems awkward. No, you can't take a guy serious when he has Azure's armor. So I want to just get rid of the dark now. So next turn I'm going to get the non-dual casted version. 
Yeah, champ definitely skips leg day. I just don't know if even like, maybe I just pivot completely and don't worry about meter strike. Like yes, I have the one cost meter strike without hologram consistently is not that great. I can do 60 now and then plus whatever Dark's doing. 60 now, so it's be 12, 72 damage plus the meter strike's 30. It's doing a hundred ish damage. She's making me weaken right now, though. Yeah, his abs are so thick. It takes a lot of time to burst. Like, I have 60 bursts right now, plus me should coming up. And then help to manage the rest of the fight. I think. I mean, our deck blocks really well. Alright. I'll just do this. Our deck blocks really well. I'm happy with this. Where the simmer. As I say that, as I say that, I take damage to turn out. Okay. Mm, I can take only take five damage. I think we still have Dark Simmer, huh? Just letting Dark do his thing. I got him can't get weakened, so I didn't do that to count. Gulka's coming up. I like just doing the strikes to get more incidental damage here. I could have been lighting the Doom Zone, but I don't really care. I mean, me striking the deck and the fact that I can't get weakened, it might be a good time to just go off now. Dark, it's 108 damage, but he does have 27 metallicis. I mean, yeah, the loop would have made sense now, now that I decided to put Dark into the deck and go for this with the champ, but for other fights, I'm not going to be doing this, this kind of Dark Orc thing. This is just an adaptation for the champ. Uh, I feel it's just an efficient way to beat him. I think I can let this simmer even more. So I'll do that. Um, I mean, similar concepts here. Keep waiting. I have life to give. I mean, there's really no reason not to keep waiting. Leave it at that. That's like perfect threshold there. And now we just gotta dual cast and oh, win. Shit. Dual cast and win now. Yo, caffeine gifted a tier one to Sinister Hologram. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Welcome, Sinister. Uzano Glan Go Gokan. Uzano Glan Gokan. Gohan. Go Gokan? Welcome. Thanks for the follow, buddy. I'm pretty sure I wrote your name. cast next turn, which is going to be for the big Kahuna damage. So let's commence.
I can full block, but I can do rebound to get extra damage because I'm setting up for a fire potion. But if I if I don't attack, I get Art of War. So I could just try to full block as much as possible, or I could do rebound for the five damage and then get him closer for fire pot lethal in other ways because I'm not weakened, right? So that makes but if I do dual cast, it makes barrage worse. And we have lethal in a lot of different ways. If we just rebound now, All right? So I don't, it doesn't feel right to dual cast just for full block when barrage isn't out, strikes are out, and meter strikes are out. You know? I guess we have lethal now. Twenty-one, twenty-one. 41. We have exactly full. Yeah, I guess we can do exactly full. The question is, do we plan to save the fire pot? Um, we have lethal now, but do we want to save fire pot for Act 3? Taking a hit doesn't really... Uh, I mean, it makes me have less HP for the next act, but it's kind of negligible. Maybe fire pot is more useful. Focus pot. Oh lord, okay, so now we have multicast to dump our energy. And meter strike number two, rainbow. Multicast seems pretty good here to give some kind of purpose to meteor strike. Whether it be multicast on a dark orb, on a lightning orb, or on a frost orb. At least it has some kind of hits. Duralas, what's up man? How you doing? Yeah, I usually could have saved the potion there. I had lethal in many ways, and then save the potion for after, but it's okay. Multicast seems really good here. Now, we can go full thematic and do double meteor strike. Uh, question is, when we have double meteor strike, what is that leading into? What is that doing? All right, that gives us a lot of energy, so we can do a lot of card draw. All the cards we're drawing are going to be upgraded because of apotheosis, so there's going to be decent value cards. And so if we find things like skin and more cool headed, I mean, there's definitely something to think about. It feels awkward. It's decent damage on its own. So multicast, when you do in plasma orbs, you get double the energy. Then you need something else to put into the energy. So if we get on CC top, then the deck is insane because we can very easily hit crazy amounts of energy. As long as we don't hit a curse, like Sender's Bane, and we don't hit like a wound or something, we can go and play a whole bunch of cards. But that's not something we have right now. <laughs> you taunting it with a sub? Uh, let's do a little thick ass here, guys. Can no longer potions, runic dome, or tiny house. So if we do Sozu, we have five energy with uh, plasma, with nuclear battery. When we run out of plasma and utilize that, uh, use that up, we're down to four base with no potions. Focus pot we can try to hold on to for the heart. It's a pretty good potion to hold on to. More energies makes meter strike playable all by itself. And when we have more energy with apotheosis, we're playing an extra upgraded card per turn, which is pretty good, I would say. I mean, more energy, play more upgraded cards. We can manage a lot more things. I think we do really want to try to find some card draw. Maybe it's Sozu's probably fun. Yeah, using Jax as your soul strength source is not smart. We also can do Tiny House. And I know there's some Tiny House fans out there. Get max HP, upgrade a random card, get a card, and get some gold, some potions. And we can utilize potions throughout the run. We're no longer... Uh, Tiny House feels... Not like the play here. Let's go ahead and do this. Don't do Deco. Okay. So we're forced to do Sparkle. Let's go. The bomb for this seems pretty good. Well, that's kind of cool. I 
calipers would be great. I, I wish I had a lot more relics. Calipers would be really fantastic to utilize energy. Um, I think we're pretty good here, huh? It doesn't matter, they're all gonna die. Try to find some stuff. Doesn't even matter. Nothing matters here. The game's fight's over. Thank you for the gift of the sour end. Appreciate it. He said <laughs> no need, but you still gave it to him anyways. Thank you, man. Weaken. So they, this is a source to weaken, but with five energy, this is kind of a really low impact card to draw into. With zero cost, go for the ash for the weaken. It's pretty low impact. Yes, I want weaken, but this is not the card I want to draw into. So we have Chemical X now, with Multicast in the deck. We also have the Elusive White Beast Sozu combo. Very rare, very enticing. What's up, Hi I Heart Raymond? How you doing? Chemical X, we also have Reinforced Body. So we have Reinforced Body and we have Multicast. The thing is, what are we actually trying to multicast here? What if we just take a, just some good old focus and remove? Remove a strike, get some focus, call it a day. Data disk, remove. Compadre is looking sexy again because we do have a lot of energy and Compile Driver, like I said, is two to three card draw on average. We're multicasting Dark Orbs. That's very all in. When I only have one Doom and Gloom for Dark. I mean, we also have Reinforced Body, so Multicast is two targets. I mean, uh, the Chemical X has two targets here. I can see Data Disk Remove being very useful as well. Although we're not really utilized orbs, so the focus is not as powerful. Because we have a lot of Plasma. I suppose, yes, we have Dark Orbs to scale with and some Frost sometimes which makes multicast stronger because we have that much more focus, aka one. And by moving to strike, the deck feels really nice. And I think what balances out the deck would maybe, hopefully, creative AI to get some scaling. I mean, what does this need for the heart? <clears throat> it needs a relic like Calipers. Extreme Force Body is really good draw. I like this. I like this a lot. Should we go for two elites or... I think so, right? Yeah, we don't need the campfire. What are we trying to upgrade? No, two elites it is. Let's go. We get less events, but that's fine. We got a bomb again. Very nice. Why don't we just rebuild that bomb? Probably unnecessary, but... Try to kill this man. It's not gonna happen. This is a lot of damage, Jesus Christ. Hmm. All that energy and nothing to do with it. All that energy and nothing to do with it. So we're just gonna take big old hits. We need stuff to carry here. Sucky. Stop repair and that's it. Stop repair, please. I want to try to find some repair. Oh, but this kills them if I do that? Fuck. So I gotta just do this. There it is. So much energy, nothing to do with it. I know. I know, I know, I know. I know. Panacea versus this guy versus Secret Weapon to get Little Mr. Meter Striker right away.
This is the 16th month I've subscribed to the chair. This is the way. I've been scratching the chair. This is the way it's out on was How you doing, man? How's work? So this multicast is currently 18 times 8. That's pretty good damage. 100 and what? 44? We can make that better. 144 damage here. So what if we do this? Put a rebound hologram. Actually, that's gonna get drawn. We'll hold on to it. Now this is gonna be eight times twenty-four. Drastically better. Still not perfect. I'm like one damage off. Oh the lightning, right? Okay, cool. Lightning beautiful. That's satisfying. That's satisfying. Skip Tiny House, yep. Alright, so we have Recursion, Claw, and Ball I need. If I can get a Caliber's Undecent Tap, this dramatically changes the nature of the deck. So right now... Mm, Dark Multicast is the best thing I'm doing. <clears throat> For 16 months, I've been to me and I've skipped Tiny House for all 16 months. You secretly like me skipping Tiny House. I think Recursion is too much of a dead draw. Transmutation. Yes, please. Okay, wait, wait a second. Um, I have some things to do real quick. Is now we're cooking with gas. I should have done discovery after the fact here. I should have discovery after the fact. Take a buffer now. I guess I could just block as well. What a weird fight. We want to get Dark Orb out. Really awkward turns, right? We really want Dark Orb out. Tony Boys make it awkward. I 
suppose we could just do meter strike again. Kill this damn thing. Or we could do... Doom Gloom hurts too much. We can lose buffer for Doom Gloom. That's probably fine. Let's do this. We'll figure this out. It's okay. No fear of losing here. Beautiful. I guess we do that. That was another focus pot. Unfortunately, it shows you. I think Rainbow gives us another form of dark. I like it. The bomb versus this guy. Chrysalis. I mean, purity to manage the burns later on. Chrysalis to get three random skills to cost zero. The bomb on three turns, right? So the first turn he's not intangible. The second turn he is. Third turn he's not intangible. So that's guaranteed 40 damage. I'll take it. As long as I can afford to play it. So we're not losing buffer because we're weakened. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's very inconsistent, I agree. We can, can utilize buffer here. Try to bomb again. If we bomb again, then the bomb will hit an intangible, right? The second bomb will hit intangible. It's probably best to just do meter strike. Give us a card draw for hologram. If we do hologram, I feel I'll get some card draw. Look for apotheosis like this. So now we can actually pull out reinforced body and probably get full block or even do things like fission. So reinforced body fission are actually full block. So it's actually interesting. Is is the bomb actually gonna hit the intangible? I could have swore that when I end my turn, he's gonna be not not intangible. Unless does he get the intangible the moment I end my turn? I don't think so. He's over block. So this is plus two, right? So right now I have eight. All I need this to do is to be 40. So I only need this to be for f five. So I can utilize three energy. What's the best use of three energy here? We could do meter strike, be multicast. I suppose that makes sense. We can do rebound meter strike for next turn. Then we do this. And then we just do this. Calibers would make this deck absolutely insane. So this is a very good turn. Corsairs for artifacts. Okay, Corsairs for artifacts is pretty good. I'm not opposed to it. Right now, I don't have any targets for it, but if I get it first turn with Seek against the heart for the vulnerable, that's more than worth it. I can stop some nasty stuff. Well, for the week, for for the next fights, I guess it helps against the giant head a little bit. I think it's just a good card to have, but at the same time, it's like, we also have max HP. And I think artifacts are vulnerable. I mean, uh, valuable. Okay, let's look for... Uh, 
I'm, tr I'm being a little... Okay. You want a second boot sequence? Probably not. That was a buffer. I would have taken that. I'm running out of things to... Upgrade. Calibers would be huge. Absolutely massive. Secret weapon, Panacea Panache. I guess secret weapon just to get the meter strike right away. Panache, I suppose, can do some extra damage, but it doesn't seem meaningful. Panacea doesn't seem that great. Let's do this. Darko Multicast just wins the fight, yeah? Otherwise, this fight is a little bit rough. We need to get Darko ASAP. Calibers should be so huge. I, I probably just need Calibers to win the run, otherwise... Gotta do multicast dark to win this. We just lost buffer. It's not very good. I guess we could do fission because we do have rainbow to bring the dark back, but slowing down my scaling. Can also do compile driver. It's gonna have to come down to dark multicast. So let's try to block as well as we can. I'm gonna do this and draw first. Decent turn here. If I have more energy, then is there a way I can put dark in the front? I think I'm not first, but let's see. Bring first body is a huge draw. That's basically the whole reason. Get that as much as possible. I have the multicast. So I could multicast Frost. How much is that if I do it right now? If I do Doom Gloom, I have 5 times 5, 25 only. Ah. Well, yeah, Calibers would be game winning. I do want to get Dark closer to the front. Six times five times no six times eighteen. I don't know. So we're just trying to wait for multicast. That's it. Multicast wins here, right? Because if I draw into it, it's going to be 6 times 24. I could just do Reinforced Body and wait yet again. Okay, try drawing for it. So now it's going to be 6 times 30. Okay, not the worst 
fight. That opener? Okay. We can go for defrag or max HP or a second hologram. Now the reason why hologram is pretty decent is because we have things like multicast and reinforced body, which all are which are our best cards, right? Because of the chemical X. So if I can hologram to get reinforced body played even more often, it's an insane block. Now defrag helps us get dark scaling quicker and we get a little bit more out of our frost. But hologram is like card draw in a sense. And we have all this energy at times that we're not utilizing, so Hologram gives us access to our best cards more often, or just has our turns be longer and utilize more energy because we can play more cards. So yes, Defrag sure makes scaling quite nice for the Dark Orb, but I wonder if the Hologram recursion is more consistent. So the, the top number is how much is going to gain passively when you end your turn. The bottom number is the current amount that it's going to do when you evoke it. Bomb. Pretty good for this fight, huh? Pathios is here. Pathios is what? Fission, yet again? What are you thinking? Bomb's just nuts here. It's a multicast. So you gotta survive. Two turns after this. I could do this again. More that opener. Okay, can I survive this turn? Or just kill him. Okay. GG. Let's get self repair out, please. Gotta think about self repair here. Didn't get it out. It's okay. So, recycle double energy chill. Interesting. So, I think there's like sometimes suffer from not having frost, right? But the way that we're playing is like we're not really utilizing frost. We have block from cards that are not orb related. Recycle can get rid of meter strike or double your energy sometimes for a big multicast. Recycle just seems awkward though. With how much energy I have, it's just a bad dead draw. I don't really have good recycle targets. Like, we can try to recycle the deck down, technically. So that later on we're just drawing into reinforced body more often, or we are just drawing into a core block. Like we can make this if if we have recycle and we have enough time, we can make the deck pretty streamlined. That doesn't seem necessary. Pretty much chill was that like sure yeah I do I am a big fan of chill, but I think rather max. HP here. Alright, this guy can be a little scary. Some nice strategy here. Interesting. Is Meteor Strike doing Gloom and Power Driver? Too much damage here. Fortunate. Good turns, bad turns. because vision is actually just kind of stupid. I think we can do more with rainbow, yeah? I could even do, I guess, rainbow, rainbow. Now nah, we have good draws coming up. 
Oh, Kathy, thanks for the follow, and Summer Chief, thanks for the follow as well. I feel like a wasting Dark Orb here. I don't have to do Fission because Reinforced Body kind of just blocks for how much right now? 45. Alright. Fine. I do kind of want... This is 7 times 9, it's overblocked, but I want to set up Rainbow again. Although I kind of want more energy. Let me see. If I do Rainbow, it's going to be 9 times 4. Yeah, we, we, we'd like the Plasma. Absolutely. I wanted to do big meter strike turn, right? I still might take a lot of damage here. Because they don't actually have plasma. That was a bad fight. Core snaps is. I'm t I'm t this is kind of a bad fight. Bad fight, bad fight, bad fight. I have one more worst case scenario for this fight. Dark Shock was good damage uh, stopping his attack, but to Chrysalis. Alright, let's, let's try to manage. Try to not get hit by Parasite here. I mean, I guess like, Parasite is probably the best thing because of Mori, right? Like the Dark Simmer for multicast. Oh, we have double energy multicast. How much is that? Real quick. One hundred twenty. Not that great. One twenty. What it, is there? Lethal here. Let's say I do something else with that. Well, that gives him a plane right now, Sergio. Currently, not much on stream. I've been streaming a lot of Slay Aspire. But there's, I do want to check out Risk Rain 2 updates. I want to check out uh, some of the Hades updates. Some other games on my radar, but currently not doing anything else. But I want to get self repair out. So this seems fine, though. Like a nice compromise. I also have hologram though. Like I have multiple holograms in the deck. I don't have to rush this. It's important that I get some repair out though. Risk of Rain 2 is worth playing offline. Yeah, like a single player? Yeah, I think so. So we could do 9 times 12. And then use the buffer here. I guess right now is going to be uh, 8 times 7. Sorry. Take that back. 8 times 6. Some of these potions I can't use. Damn. Do I take a defrag finally? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, Risk not for everybody. Like, for instance, Sloth didn't like it. Check, check, see if you like those kind of big games. Alright, so we can go for an event or we can go for a fight. Now, a fight gives me another chance for self-repair so I can get more life. That seems worth it. Also, it hopefully gives us another chance 
Well, no. So the event could be Rare Relic, which could be Calipers. There's a chance that this is Fight of Axman Boss for a Rare Relic. Fight the Elite. Not the Elite, but like the two spherical burning things for a Rare Relic. And Rare Relics are probably our priority. So we can go for Calipers or we can go for Self Repair Healing. Or neither. I'm trying to get Dark Orb out on second thought and just do multicast. Deck is very weird. Absolutely. Inside the crazy my times. Oh, one second. I want to kill this man. Fuck. What's the best way to kill this guy? Wait, I want to kill him right now. Brain fart, brain fart. FTO. So hologram compile for FTO. Uh, these pushes would be very useful. So, compile... Oh, zap as well. Yeah, true, true. Uh, compile, max HP, consume loop, loop, leap. Consume is interesting because it allows us to gain some focus so that when we're evoking the frost with rainbow or cool-headed, just get more value out of it. We, we don't really care about the passive effects of the orbs, do we? One problem that we have right now is that we... Well, keep in mind, Reinforced Body and Multicast are our best cards, so we have two holograms for that. We want to play around that as much as we can. Reinforced Body, Multicast. And I guess our damage is going to come from, like, Multicast on Lightning or Dark. That's our damage. Yeah, and when I have consumed Meter Strike, plain Meter Strike gives me energy back without the nuclear battery, you know? Because when I use Meteor Strike after the nuclear battery is done, I just lose all my energy, which is bad. We don't care about skilling Dark Orbs. Yeah, I think Impal, I guess, makes a lot of sense because we do have plasma things going on. So, card draw makes sense here, yeah? I can take Impal. Nah, you can't keep consuming. You can run out of Orb Slice and that's it. Hmm. It's a very weird deck. The bomb for this fight or transmutation? I mean, the bomb is 40 or 50 AoE here. And it sets up. I mean, it's pretty good for this fight, dude. Unfortunately, this buffer, huh? Just barely. Just pretty bad. Pretty bad first turn. Transmutation chemical X could be a uh, bomb as well. That's yeah, totally true. I'm totally right about that. It's absolutely true. Do you want to get defrag out right now? Or do we want to defrag it out and just hope for multicast to carry? We 
We could fission, but... We could do more bombs. We could just keep playing bombs, honestly. We could just do this, do bomb again. Block. It's probably the most efficient thing to do for this fight. We're drawn into the re uh, reinforced body. And multicast coming up. Can also go from a card draw. I think bomb is pretty good though, huh? But how much damage are we willing to take here? Because we could be taking damage if we do bomb. If I mitigate damage, then the next fight is not as difficult. How much damage are we taking right now? 30. If I do leak charge battery. I guess I can end fission. Taking no damage. Right. That works. You know barrage, more damage. Or do we want to just keep trying to the good stuff coming up next turn? I don't care about Art of War, do I? We could do bomb again. <laughs> we could do bomb number three, honestly. And then take one damage. I mean, why not just bomb this fight to death? I mean, I guess it comes down to like saving that one more life, but I think this helps me save much more life than ever. Thank you, Elnario. The reinforced body just covers this turn. So since we have all these bombs going on, I don't really care about maintaining this dark. I mean, I guess multicast is a thing, so I can try drawing into multicast right now. But it hits the deco there. And we want to play reinforced body, so let's just do this. Well, let me see. Uh, 36, right? So all I need is one energy left over. And I full block. No, that's 27. Sorry, I need two energy left over. Okay. But we currently have 11. So with 11, that means 27 plus 11 is full block. So one energy left over. Yeah, multicast here. So we can do multicast frost for block if we need to. It's a possibility. Times six, pretty good. Forty-two block. If I play it for one less, thirty-five block. You're attacking for thirty-six. Forty-two blocks probably enough, huh? Unless I'm trying to rebound. So if, I, if I take one damage, I can rebound multicast, and that just sets up dark lethal. Probably better. So I'll take one damage. In order to get them killed sooner. So there's bomb again. It's a bomb deck. I mean, the bomb does manage the minions pretty well. The thing is, blind is fantastic for this fight. The weaken is absolutely crucial. But I mean, I guess we do have good block. We don't necessarily need to weaken. What powers are we playing? We don't need to play defrag. I don't need to play self repair. I don't really play powers. You know? So I. As much as I like the weaken, the bomb just handles the minis pretty well. Let's see if I can draw into Apotheosis. I could draw into Apotheosis. Alright, so... 
That's nice. Let's save our buffer. Alright, we just gotta survive next turn. As best we can, and then Bomb takes care of the, the fight's pretty much the hard part. I'm nearly out of the way. We could bomb again, but this mitigate damage here, so reinforced body covers the damage. Alright, so bomb is actually a play. So if we do bomb, then we reinforce body for 3, which is 27. Now the guy himself is doing 32, 27, so we're looking at 32, 44 damage. Okay, so the second bomb maybe is not necessary. If I just do this right now, it's 6 times 9. That more than covers it. I guess what I need for 42 is 5. I guess I can get away with 4. That loses buffer, right? If I do 4... What if I just reinforce body? What if I do this? I could vision sure, but I guess we do want to set up dark as after this. These guys are dead. I could fission and do bomb again, start striking my damage, but I've already full blocked. I like. No, I don't want to fission yet because I kind of want to keep plasma as is. I don't need fission right now. So I just need a block for twenty-two, and we have that. If one energy. So I guess we can multicast now. No, no, no. I lied. Okay. As much as I like the plasma, I do want to get dark going and just scale up dark so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna scale up dark I'm gonna block with my my blocks non orb related wait for multicast kill him and then hope, hope, maybe set up the second dark for the second phase I mean there's a lot of things I can do defrag doesn't seem worth it because I don't have enough frost but I guess I get it out of my deck now nah, I'm taking eight extra damage without defrag This rainbow is the best thing I can play. Or maybe we just keep the plasma and just call it a day. Not nah, we're playing dark, right? Okay. So we really want to draw into a hologram. So rainbow compile guarantees I get hologram, right? So I can get full block. So do we take no chances? We lose our plasma, but we get guaranteed full block. It's two to three chances otherwise. Fine, guaranteed. Funny enough that I have so much block that I could possibly. I was, I'm gonna do reinforce body, but I was thinking about multicast for damage. If we compile again. If I defrag reinforce body, I'd give him strength for the second phase, which I don't necessarily need. I think I can manage the first phase without any powers and just make the second phase as easy as possible. But I was thinking if I do compile, maybe I could just do more with this turn without having to do reinforce body. Because reinforce body just is, is, is just it's a way excess amount of block. Man, I wish I 
can get calipers. I can't even afford it at the shop if I see it. How much are we blocking if we do come charge battery here? We have 32 worth. Yeah, we do, right? So we charge batteries is better. Wait, I have two holograms. Uh, take this back. Sorry. Take this back. Just in case I draw multicast. But maybe doing multicast on the lightning makes more sense. Good vision here. I can save it for the second phase as well. I miss five damage for This rebound could have been useful. Well, we can multicast now. We can multicast now. And get to the second phase. Start the fight. Seems good. We have hologram reinforced body and hologram fission. Reinforced body covers this, I can say, buffer, yeah? Is that worth it? Because I also want to get Dark out. Thanks for body. Keeps the buffer alive. I could just lose the buffer and play things like Deep Frag, Rainbow. Because once I lose the buffer, like I'm not really worried about dying here, right? Deep Frag, Rainbow is probably more than enough. Perfect time to get rid of buffer. Mokix is for follow, Otari is for follow, Robin Trillions, thank you for follow. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm worried. I guess I could just play Deep Frag. And do this. This is fine. <laughs> now it should be GG. Now we just let the dark scale multi cast and GG. Multicast here, we got Dark stick in front. I kind of get fishing out of the deck. Let's compile. Rebound reinforce. Calibers is so good. I don't want to damage. We have self repair, right? So we don't care about getting perfect, right? If we don't care about getting perfect, we don't. We can just take the damage here, and self repair takes care of it. I'm not caring about the score here. We're just going for we're just going for multicast. That's all I care about is multicast. I think we just full block here. Let multicast become lethal. And try to get as much multicast next turn as possible. Okay. 
Okay. I don't think that's still huge. I, I wonder if this is going to take care of the heart, though. It's just strange. Strange, strange, strange. That's a really long run. This is a really wacky long run. I mean, if we get calibers from the Elite, then yes. It's guaranteed. For right now, I'm a little unsure. I think we upgrade Defrag just in case we get that before anything else. Alright. So there's an Artifact for the Vulnerable. Pretty good. And there's also another Seek. Transmutation with Chemical X. That would be cool, but could also be something bad. So maybe just Artifact for the Vulnerable here. Can't buy potions. Save the focus. Do I have money for anything else? Not even. I guess recycle, but I don't care about that. Like, Seek sure gets us the important stuff out of the way, but the artifact for the vulnerable allows me to buy, buy some time for the um, dark multicast shenanigans. I mean, how much stuff do we really have? I think all we really care about is getting apotheosis and then playing reverse body as much as we can. What is Seek doing that artifacts... So artifacts is a one-time thing for the vulnerable. And that saves a lot of life. Transmutation Chemical X, it's a meme, but it also potentially bonkers. It helps us find blinds. Panacea for artifacts. That's uh, more bombs. We like bombs. Bombs could be our damage. I mean... Transmutation is a way to seal this run with some crazy thematic RNG-ness. You guys want to say, hey, hey screw the clockwork souvenir, get the artifacts, I mean, get the uh, mortal to the face, this transmutation. I mean, you can get transmutation from the box as well, true. Could be discovering to creative eye. I mean, the possibilities are endless, guys. I think artifact for the guaranteed... Um, Vulnerable prevention is the best, but this is has a higher ceiling. You guys want to try it out? I'll do it for you guys. If we lose, do I want to lose this though? Am I willing to lose this run after this wacky start? <clears throat> I mean, is, is it even worse than artifact though? I mean, maybe it's secretly optimal. All right. I gotta use the restroom because I drink coffee and coffee is running through me. But let's settle in for this one, guys. It's gonna be a toughie. Metamorphosis, deep breath, or panic button. I think metamorphosis is the play. Panic button is pretty good. If I can, so I have two holograms, right? So in the event that I need to block for the next turn, if I draw a hologram, um, or have seek, we have you know, we have two holograms, which. Make panic point play for the next turn block. You have buffer though. The metamorphosis is the best. Not a very good strong not a very strong first turn. I think we we rebound reinforced body, that's that's how we end up play, because reinforced body is the best. So that's how we end this. So I think what we do is we face towards this guy, yeah? So how much energy do we have? One, two, three, four. Okay. Play this. Scrape, shoot my doom again. Mm. Of course I want to turn my back that way, right? Because, of course, these guys are doing more damage. So, if, let's say if I do reverse body right now, 8. Okay. 
56. I put your transportation after the fact. I get two cards. I can maybe get a card that changes my direction. We self repair at the end of the day, so we heal for 12. If self repair is upgraded, we heal for 12. One of the one of the only times we're not getting apotheosis, um, we're not getting apotheosis early, like seek or apotheosis. Transmutation could also be apotheosis, but I think reinforced body transmutation is a play, and we hopefully do self repair at the end of this, upgraded, get 12 healing at the end of this. And I'm hoping that this hits something to change direction because I shouldn't have faced this guy. That was my bad. Okay. If I hear for 12, honestly, it's like as if I took no damage, right? Could be worse. We really need apotheosis. But a second bomb is huge here. Like, of course I want to do hologram reinforced body to take no damage. The second bomb just wins the fight. But I'm confident that we're drawing into some good cards. Meter strike. Upgraded attacks. So I'm gonna do core surge and then I'm gonna play reinforced body. Vision huge. Wow, 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 wow. A panache this turn. So we actually have a lot of damage because of Panache plus the bomb right now. I think I'd rather get more card roll. I actually killed this guy because of the bomb. He's doing what, 40? Amazing. I can draw the Doomagloom and Seek right now. Got the Seek. We're not going to proc again. Uh, before this fight ends, we want to get Self Repair played. I can probably just take my time to do that now. That is a Meteor Strike. I think I want to do Dark Orb to kill the next guy. Yeah, Penny is not a bad card, it's situational. Calibers would be huge. Damn. You guys think about static discharge. So when the, when I'm getting hit by multi hits, static discharge could be a good source of damage. Hmm. I think it's fat enough as it is, huh? It could really help our damage though with the multi hits. I might even guarantee 
lethal because we do have focus pot and defrag so that's the lightning's gonna hurt and i wonder if we have to utilize that for potential lethal this sort of plasma sure but what does this deck want to do this deck wants to block with reinforced body multicast most of the time or do damage multicast or block a multicast with frost I mean, Static Discharge Plus is huge against the heart. This alone can do so much damage. This deck is crazy, man. They started off a Meteor Strike, Apotheosis, Toolbox deck. Toolbox was giving us Forethought and Madness to play Meteor Strike. And then it turned into a Chemical X, Reinforced Body, Multicast, Transmutation deck that we just added in. And it's doing dark damage with uh, Multicast primarily. But it's been getting a lot of bombs from Toolbox. So, we've been using Bomb for damage. I guess we're of Dark too, but maybe I don't care about the Dark because the Dark's there for damage and this is doing damage. Right? So if this gets rid of Dark but doing damage, I don't care because it saves me the trouble of having to multicast Dark for damage. And now I just gotta worry about blocking, for the most part, Reinforce Body. <clears throat> yeah, what's up, Trickle? Okay, I'm trying to think of a world where, like, if I have Steam Barrier out, I'm sorry, stuff, Static Discharge out, and it's upgraded, every multi hit is doing two Lightning Orbs, right? And that is with Focus and Defrag out, that's very substantial damage. Because if nothing else, maybe this deck can't make the distance, and it needs to just push for lethal. Static discharge in mines. <clears throat> Boy strike. I think I got another hour in me after this run. I also have to help somebody with something real quick. So right after this, we're gonna take a quick little break, but I think I got another hour or so, maybe even more. Okay. This is weird. This is guaranteed apotheosis, so I can cast away the, the doubt of like having to find Seek, and I already have this in my deck, right? Or, we try to go for value, and do Madness on a Hologram, or Meteor Strike, or whatever, right? Madness is something, it seems, with a 36 card deck, Madness on a card seems not very valuable, right? Because there's gonna be Wounds, Burns, Voids, 36 cards as it is, Madness on a random card, at least for concern. You can do Master Strategy to find your own Apotheosis, and maybe other things. So, find a Seek, find your powers. Or we just take the Apotheosis for what it is, and not have to worry about finding the one that we have. Master Strategy could potentially be better. Apotheosis, just so that I have it in my 36 card deck. Not the best first turn. So remember, we didn't take the artifacts. We didn't take the artifacts for um, the vulnerable. We took transmutation. And if we're going to be vulnerable, it's going to suck. I'm going to play cards that I want ink bottle. Even though I can get Art of War, I have plasma. I'm going to do this. Okay. Now... I have buffer, so if this is a big hit, this would be ideal. Big hit first. Of course, it's not the big hit first. So reinforce body right now, it's gonna be six times seven, 42 block. Just barely short. So what I could do first is, because I have seek, I could play even more here. So I could do things like seek, one second. I could do seek, fission. Wait, 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 I have a question. I'll do fend first, yeah, for buffer, but. Did we try to get transmutation out now? No, 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 oh God. I can imagine it would be amazing, but what I'm thinking is we seek out 
vision. And maybe cool headed, get more card draw. We play defrag, refission, then we reinforce body. And maybe we get rebound with the fission, so we rebound reinforce body. If that doesn't work out, then we just use the buffer next turn. And when we have Seek and you have all these cards, it's, it's hard to find out what's the best thing. But I do think that maybe Fission, Cool Headed is the best. Uh, I guess there's also the consideration to get Static Discharge out. So we get all our powers out and about. I guess also Dark for damage. Uh, I think we do this. Fission Cool Headed, right? I guess there's hologram as well. Or rebound for reinforce. Nah, I'd rather get more orbs. So I have to be cool headed then. I have a question actually. When you have cool headed and then you play a fission, it uses the buffer, doesn't it? It evokes first. It says evoke all your orbs, then gain energy, and this says whenever you play a card. It says evoke all your orbs. That's the first thing it does. So I'm assuming maybe it evokes your orbs first. We're gonna lose plasma here. I guess we're finding out, but it's it's a really painful thing to find out because the the buffer. You know the price of this science is huge. I think we tested it on another run before. I'm pretty sure we tested it, and it actually doesn't evoke first. get static discharge anyway, so let's do the math. We only need... Forty-five, right? So eight. We need six energy left. So if we do defrag, static, reinforced... We're full block. the wound out as well. I didn't get I didn't get rebound unfortunately but I want to say buffer that's why I didn't do anything else. So I can just leap play my artifacts Use the buffer. And now we're just not gonna have vulnerable, not gonna be frail. Our block's pretty good. Oh, let's attack here. Get some damage. Get some ink bottle. Okay, worst part is done. Now, if transmutation gives us. Like, how can we utilize this artifact? Like, I think I should get Dark Orb out. Well, that's pretty good value. Um, okay, well, fuck. Now I just gotta worry about how am I doing damage here? We have a transmutation coming up. That's not a draw I necessarily want to see. I guess I could just do FTL for more ink bottle stuff. We're about to draw right now. That's decent. Okay. Painful turn, certainly, but I guess we I guess we get static discharge, not the worst. So we're gonna get 30 damage to the face and static discharge. Oh, we're taking even more because 2 damage here. 
Rebound nothing. Uh, how are you blocking next turn? Next turn is not the greatest block again. This transportation has to come up big. Spicy saying thanks for the follow. Tile Force, thanks for the follow. GM uh, Monje, thanks for the follow. Are you GM in chess? Transmutation here, G guys. All in transmutation. What do you think? Back to coordination. Follow. We got seven cards. Uh, I mean, there's panic button. Dark shackles. Panic button. Okay, panic button. We also have artifact. That's a perfect use for artifacts. We can, we can technically madness Meteor Strike right now. Oh my lord, and here we are. RNG gods looking down upon us. I mean, I'm not even sure how the good that is. But it's a thing. Alright, so let's say we do this, right? We can draw a lot of cards and maybe find dual cast, multicast, and have it a very extended turn. So let's let's lean into this all the way. Alright, trip gets rid of the artifacts. I, I, I do prioritize that, but I don't want to draw back into that, so I'm going to draw first. Alright, oh, I didn't get full advantage of my draw. Whoopsies. Did I just do Dark Shackles now, but this is so good for the multi attack later. That, whoa! Whoa! Insane. Let's get Dark Over Stacks. I want to get rid of the artifact if I can. Do I keep the plasma here? Uh, I kind of want to draw. I guess I could do rebound barrage for more damage. Yeah, it's a it's a long run. I could rebound barrage for more damage, but we also want to make sure we have block next turn. I guess we have decent cards. I kind of want to rebound again, so I want to. Do hologram rebound and then rebound Reaper's body and then, or have hologram for dark shackles. We need trip to get rid of the artifacts. I'm not sure what the best play here is. I guess rebound barrage. This is more damage next turn. It also makes the draws worse. I mean, I'm not even doing extra damage. I'm just kind of like. Setting up damage for next turn, which is 21 only. I hit the damage cap a long time ago. I mean, if, if, worst case scenario, which is ink bottle, but... Is Barrage something worth rebounding? Probably not, right? If anything, we want to hit into multicast sooner and reinforce body sooner. I also want to do hologram for rebound and reinforce stuff. Or maybe even 
rebound multicast stuff. Because we have a lot of damage in the dark and a lot of block in the frost. The rebound block allows me to play more cards, but we already have charged battery and we have a lot of block as it is. Nah, I'm actually so confused what to do here. Not very intuitive there. So we have okay. So we have a lot of Jesus Christ. All right, this is technically a turn where I could do multicast, hologram, card draw, and have a long ass turn. And then as long as I end the turn with like rebound reinforce, I feel confident. We have energy for days, but by doing that, we're gonna get rid of the energy for next turn. And I can't guarantee that I'm gonna rebound the reinforced body, but if we do have hologram next turn for Dark Shackles, but he has an artifact. I guess I also have hologram for reinforced body, but he's gonna do a lot of damage. Maybe we just roll the dice and try to draw as many cards as possible here. So we do compile multiple times. Uh, I guess I'm. I guess I didn't consider the fact that I got rid of the plasma, so that's a little bit worse, right? So what's a better draw? I guess Kuwait is the similar concept, but then it doesn't do damage. It might just end there too. Now, I can't you realize that compile might just end the turn there with a waste. But I guess we're going for optimism. That's, I guess that's something that happens. Is there a better way to guarantee more draw? I guess we hologram compile right away before multicast. Yeah. All right, we hope we have enough. So damage we didn't get there. We really want to try drawing into Multicast here or reinforced body. We could do think it ahead again. That's our only out, right? Get ahead again is our only out. We do charge, charge. Uh, yeah, I'm not confident with our block here. Oh, we might just lose here actually, but. I definitely feel like there's a weird lines in this that could be winning. Like if you just guarantee rebound reinforced body, it's super good. I guess I got hopefully I get the draw here, right? Think it ahead. Yep. To put the guarantee cards up front. Okay. Sad, huh? Damn. I don't have multi or reinforce. Maybe this survives. It's also a line.
It is 90, right? It is 90. Living because of static discharge. But we've static discharge. No, 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 static discharge here. It's fine. Also had, um, I also had, um, I could have, like, okay. I have to play this very carefully. Because this actually is winnable if I draw a reinforced body. Compile for draw, but what's the best way to draw here? Cool headed seems so all in. We just think about the idea of like hologram, hologram, meteor strike, get energy, try to compile into something. And try to extend our turn because if we have more energy, we can do more things, and then reinforced body is even better. Uh, one sec. Yeah, with ink bottle as a thing, Mr. Body is really, really the only out here. I guess there's multicast frost. So, how can we get multicast frost to be a thing? So, if we do rainbow. And we compile into something that evokes a frost, evokes an orb, like zap or doom and gloom. Then we multicast the frost, but is that even enough? Oh, my camera died. All right, let's get moving, let's get moving, let's get moving. Rainbow. Compile. Try to find something that can put the frost in front for multicasts, or just comp cool headed compile better. Because cool headed compile is more immediate block, but it's harder to get the frost for the multicast on front. Sorry, dude, this is a hard turn. I really, is really, I, I don't know the, the line. If it's like hologram rainbow, cool headed into compile. Mm. All right, so cool headed draws two, and then compile draws another two. So I'm strictly drawing four cards there. Rainbow gets Frost closer to multicast. Draw three cards, and of course there's Ink Bottle. I'm scared though. Like if I do cool. Cool headed compile, and I just drop one extra card. At least Rainbow gives me some frosts. Fuck, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna do hologram cool headed, guys. If, what if I can't use my energy though? Fuck, right? I have all this extra energy, so I could afford to do an extra hologram. I'm going for full block here. I can't do lethal because he's. He's at his cap. I just gotta survive. Okay. So the beat of death is gonna make this quoted. I'm gonna take some damage. 
So is it better to do hologram or hologram? Cool headed so that I don't take damage from beat. Because right now I have three block, I play cool headed, I have zero block, compile, I have zero block. I guess compile can draw into block. That's what it needs to do. We're gonna proc ink bottle. Let's do this. I can take one hit here, right? It's fine. Because in the grand scheme of things, I need to hit reinforce. We're drawing three cards here. I got it. Is it even good enough? Okay, let me see. Not even good enough. It's not even enough now. So I'm taking two from the burn, 34 minus three, 31. 37. I only have 37 block. Oh, damn. Fuck. And there's nothing I can do to bring lighting. Yes. GG. Yeah, GG. Let's see Sucks. Damn, it sucks. GG. Can't do lethal, no, because he's at his max. I think there's probably a line that can win this. For sure, I'm pretty sure I messed up. I need to like maybe guarantee reinforce body for the next attack. Pretty sure I fucked this up. That's a tough run. Very interesting though. GG. GG. That was a long one. Sucks to lose it at the end there. We kind of went transmutation meme. I, I, I liked that. I thought it was pretty thematic. I, I'm happy with that run.